Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to another design video. In this video, you'll see an example of how to create a tension spring and free cut. To achieve this design, we'll be using the power sketcher and draft top punch. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscriber, please subscribe. And now let's go to the video. As first step, let's create a new document. To do that, just click on this icon. And now let's change the workbench to part workbench. And the first thing that we'll do in the part workbench is to create a helix object. To do that, we use create primitives. Just click on this icon. And now from this drop down, we select this option helix. And now let's change the parameters here. For example, the pitch will set two millimeters. The height will set 25 and the reach we can set six millimeters. And now just click on this create button. Click here and now close this. As you can see, now we have this helix object in the 3D view and also in the 3D view. We'll use this to create our tension spring, okay? And the next thing to do is to create two path sketches here. To do that, we'll use the sketcher workbench. So let's move to the sketcher workbench, select sketcher here. And next, let's create our free sketch. Just click on this icon. And this first sketch will create in the YC plane. Let's select this option and now OK. And we have this here. I'm in the session view. If we want to change to the full view, you can click on this icon. OK. And what we'll do here is to draw a simple arc. So we select this arc tool here. And next we click on the first cow axis and now in this origin point. And now we draw this. Okay, as you can see, we have this arc here. Next, we select this constraint here, horizontal constraint, just click here, and constraint these two points here. Okay, now we have this, and also one degree of freedom. Let's select constraint radius here, and set the radius of this arc here to one millimeters, and enter. And now escape two times, so leave this sketch, and as you can see, we have this. The next step now is to change the attachment of this sketch to here this vertex of this helix object but first let's rename this sketch here to perf sketch one select this sketch ring click on mouse and go to rename option and uh, let's rename to perf one okay and now select this sketch ring click on mouse and select this option attachment editor and next what we do we zoom in here and we need to select this vertex here as you can see now now here we have this just click ok and now press home and uh, next let's create our second sketch the path to sketch what you do we click in this icon and next you select now let's select the front plane select axis plane and now just click ok and we have this we can change to the full view here and we see this now zoom in and select the polling tool from Sketch a jump to this tool here, polling tool, and now just click on this origin point and draw this vertical line. And now press M three times to draw this arc here, and now two times to draw this simple line here. Okay, and next, skip and now select this point here and set tangent. Okay, now we have this and three degrees of freedom. Next, let's select constraint distance tool, this tool here. For this length here, let's add 4 millimeters, and this length here, let's add 2.5. Okay, and next, let's select constraint radius. Just click here and select constraint radius. For this arc here, we'll set the radius of 6. Okay, now we have this. And now we delete this vertical constraint here. Select constraint angle. And now this line here and this line and set 10 degrees. Okay, and now skip two times. And next, let's rename this sketch here to path 2. Okay, and now let's change the attachment. Go to map mode here, double click. And next, zoom in and select this vertex here of this sketch. And now just click OK. And also press home. And as you can see, now we have this. Okay, and our next step is to create a profile sketch. Just click on this icon. And now what we'll do is to select the axis plane. We'll create the sketch in the front plane. So click OK. And now go to 
sketch your drums and select this tool here cycle tool and now draw this cycle here in the region point and next click here and select machine diameter click in this cycle and set a diameter of 1.75 millimeters and now skip two times and next let's rename this sketch here to profile sketch okay and also let's change the attachment of this profile sketch to the vertex of this helix object here go to the profile sketch select this profile sketch and now go to the map mode and double click here and now just zoom in and select this vertex here of this helix okay and now just click okay and as you can see we have this and now that we have this we can create our solid to do that we need to first change our paint to the hard rock bench and next and next here we click on the sweep tool click here and what we do we select the profile sketch in this way and next we check these two options and what you need to do now is to select this helix object and now just click ok and as you can see we have this we have this and next let's create a salt for this path here what you need to do is to click here on the shift tool again and now select the profile sketch again and also check these two options okay and now hold ctrl and select all eight of these two sketches here in this way and now just click ok and as you can see we get this evaluation dialog that says that we need to select one or more edges from a single object this happens because our selected edge is not part of a single object we have two sketches here so we need to convert these two sketch in a single object to do that we need to cancel this operation and then go to this icon shape builder click here and now we go to this option select this option wire from edges and next what we do we hold control again and we select all edges of these two sketch here okay in this way and now just click and create and as you can see now we have this black wire here close this and now select these two path sketches and space bar to hide and as you can see now we have this wire here okay now we're able to create our salt using this path here what you need to do is to click on shape tool again click here and select profile sketch in this way and now check these two options and next hold control again and select this edge this edge and this edge and now this edge and now click ok and as you can see now we have our salt okay and uh, now it's time to hide this green cycle here to do that we need to select profile and space bar okay now that we have this part here it's time to mirror this part and this side okay we can use the mirror tool this tool here select this let sweep and now mirror tool and we can select xy plane let's select xy plane click ok as you can see we have this all distance here so this tool here is not working well so now i will show you the first way to do this to mirror this part here so first what you need to do is to delete this mirror delete okay what we'll do is to create a simple copy of this part here and then use the move tool in the draft or paint to place the copy here in the side okay so what you do first select this sweep this little separation and then go to part and now go to create copy and create simple copy and now we have this double click and move this in the y direction okay and next we need to rotate this part here 180 degrees so you need to change here to 180 degrees and then rotate this in the y axis okay like so and now click ok and as you can see now i have this okay next move to the draft workbench click here and select draft workbench and now 
hide this grid here click here okay and next select the sweep copy and now select move tool and here you need to make sure that this draft snap tools is activated okay and now rotate this model zoom in and select the center point and now zoom out rotate the model and zoom in again and now select the center point of this face here like so and now press home and as you can see now we have this and the next step is to create a fusion of these three operations go to part for bench and now select these three operations and now union tool click here and as you can see now we have a single object we have the single part here so this is the final model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my coffee page thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video